place. Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. Mm. And who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. You don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Huh? Uh... I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine. But it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. <laughs> I'll make this quick. You better. Body. <laughs> Let's finish this. Hey, a little help in your guys. No holding back. You're done. Time to get started. What's his face? What the hell? You can't do it I'm
Maybe we can get out that way. Right. Through that hole. Come on. I'll go first. Come on. You okay? Probably. Or maybe not. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move and I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! Could drop that. Okay. What's the hold up? I can't get to her. Let's move. In the attic, should we pursue? <sighs> but, sir, partners got it. We are out. <clears throat> Beginner's luck. More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. 
So cool. Need to stay ahead of them. Prep for Exville. Or not. <sighs> they gone? Yeah, think so. What are they? I think... actually... I don't know. Let's just go. Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slumps. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? rooftop before be surprised if you had it's honestly kind of exciting well first time and all the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kinda rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. <coughs> <coughs> Whew. That was unexpected. 
expected. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. The whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. Time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Uh, maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. You good? Of course. My hero. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh, not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep. Where are you going, Cloud? So it's my turn? Let's do this. Too bad. Someone looks like they're in their element. Easy. That's it! So, Cloud, you don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. 
That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. There. I can see that. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. We poured so much of our blood and sweat into building that reactor. Now I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey! What the hell's going on? Check it out, Come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well. It's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, sh Cloud, wait! Did I tell you? Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. It's over. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Mm. You better watch out then, Cal. Allow me. Didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this Palperon loops around too, so. Hmm, wonder if we can move this. Yes.
going in. Let's finish this. One more shot! Must have been a new breed. How do you figure? Because they went for the stronger prey. Off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? See ya. That'll be it. We'll see ya. See ya. This will take long. That's that. Is that it? Sleeping. Let's do this. Too bad. Do. That gate just doesn't want to open, does it? Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you, at least. Uh, will this 
just as it could. No, we're done. <laughs> Nothing to it. the trick. To relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. like they're in their element. <laughs> Get back. I can see you. Ah. 
I got your number. <laughs> Going in. So, Cloud, you don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. Uh. Stations there. I can see this. Oh? Thought the world you knew didn't include stations. Ha ha. I can't believe this is happening. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Out, Come Mom. on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's got a good view of the reactor. It's on fire! In a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh, on your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris, no. That's something at least, but you may not be so lucky next time. Hey, you know a way to get topside other than the train? Sorry, can't say I do. <sighs> Figured as much. Goddamn pain in the ass. Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. Enough. That's that. See ya. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Mm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. <laughs> Over here! That 
didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this pop wrong is valid too. I wonder if we can move this. Ah, I knew it! the stronger prey. off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Nah. Me? I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid.
Guess I got it. <laughs> That's that. Good night. And we're safe. She kept sleeping. Best do it right. Let's do this. You're mine. Enough. I was never in doubt. Get over it? For you at least. Hmm? What do we need right now? Hmm? 
Huh? Oh. Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye. So, do you think this means another war? The Sector Five slums are right there. What are they watching? Uh. Hey! Hey! hey. 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 Has been feeling a lot better. Huh? What could they I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke rising using from the rubble. So they don't have to break While the fallen slide. beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder those rescue efforts, the fires appear to, start start appear to have been war. mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we get oh, a reward or something? Uh, that's the director again. of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry hey, Division, isn't enough it? Of that doom uh, excuse me, ma'am, but would you mind answering a few questions? They're targeting reactors. No Can you give us any updates on the status explodes. of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! Alright, let's go. We need to start preparing for the worst. We need to stand up and fight against anyone who tries to destroy Man, our way. I can't decide where oh, to go on what my honey. timing? Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... Do I, need to make I help out every now and then. It's fun. Eris! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oates. See you. Two peas in a pod. So, what are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm. 
Maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yes. Here's the leaf house. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Please go big and yummy. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm? What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> Baby, been up to no good? Rude came by to... So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. <laughs> or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh yeah! I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> <sighs> hmm. I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. T no, never mind. Hmm. Aerith won't be long. Hmm.
Hmm. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is? Nice try, mister. You can't fool me. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you, I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? to hurry. We're not under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the 
blaze in the reactors. You could see the sky? Of course. Oh. You hear me? Come on. Brian, jump to the plate. Let's jump. I bet you didn't know. Did you know? This place is haunted. Nothing you can't get your hands on in this town. Materia, scrap, you name it. No materia, no life. Got nothing but the best here. I knew you had a keen eye. I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. thus far. I've done it! I've developed a new materia! Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
No escape. No holding back. You're done. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I look forward to receiving all of your battle intel submissions.
Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happened. But I thought we weren't fighting her tonight. Shit. This is enough to keep anyone up at night. Should I head home? I've got the finest collection of materia you'll find anywhere. Come back any time. Just got in a big old ship of fabric sucker! Uh, can't leave without telling her. Well, hey there. Take care of my equipment, you hear? include a declaration of war. They will target the Man, Aerith is such a sweetheart. What if you fall and break your neck? Did you know? This place is haunted. She couldn't have finished yet. Hey, mister, do you want one of these? Biggs gave me a bunch of his favorites, and I'm gonna read them all.
Oh. I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. <coughs> This place is off limits to grown ups. But if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. Oats! You're back! Aerith's come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there! Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? They ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Go on! Glad that's over. I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? Enough. You sure you want to fight? That's that. That's that. That 
wasn't so bad. Easy. Go on! Yes, I got it. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? 
Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that... Oh, yeah! Yeah. It was really cool when you went like... Yeah! Yeah! You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah! Yeah! Like that! Fine. Then how about... Yeah? Yeah! Like that! Isn't that right, Cloud? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. Is <laughs> that thing to fear? <laughs> Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. <coughs> oh, right. Come on, let's go. Then you must be from the legendary. You can't catch me! Hey Cloud, I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry, I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Oh my, is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopo? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. 
That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Mookles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But they'll need to buy a membership first. any Moogle medals, you could spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello, I'm some people. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Moogle Emporium. to a ton of people. Good for you. Hey, Cloud. Maybe say it like you mean it? Not until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. Shinra weapons are on the rampage. 
five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. Sure, hope I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. Just want to go to bed. Punch through. Right. We got to hurry. <laughs>
I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. That's that. Let's go. I got back to a while ago. Remember I had the house.
You're dead. That way is a dead end. They were doing some construction, but quit halfway. Focus. Best do it right. Buzz off. Get him. Here we go. Here he comes. This one's for you. Calling lightning. That's that. Enough. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. The must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine, Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Our ties clearly brainwashed out of the world. If a war does break out, you think you'll enlist? Of course. I'll do anything to protect the city I love. You heard me, said on TV. But I thought we weren't fighting all the time. Hey, did you see the reactor fire? It is lying down. I can't wait to hear what the president has to say about it all. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. In an effort to aid the evacuees, Shinra is considering offering units in its room. The qualifying citizens free of charge until they can find new targets. <laughs> 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 This isn't a game. Focus. Trust me, I'm focused. I got your number. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Don't catch a cold. Go on. We'll make it quick. Finish him off. Gotcha. One more shot. Going in. Don't close your. Ready or not, here I come! It's your turn now! Watch this! You're done! This one's for you! Just go away! That's that. One more shot! Keep it together. I'm coming! Buzzle <laughs> up! Get him! I gotta go for it now. Leave it to me. Let's Here he this. comes! This one's for you! <laughs> This must be it. Hey, you wanna say a prayer too? No thanks. I think you've got it covered. I'm really grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. 
And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. Hmm. <sighs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. According to officials who are undergoing investigation, I'd love to say something, but I don't work the bombers. They crossed the line from the reactor. Those avalanches. I heard there's someone going. We're having dinner in Walmart tonight. Oh yeah? Then what's with the bitching? That's what's called easy money. Will he bite me? Come on! Um, can I pet him? Yeah. Ever notice that even if you wash your clothes, they smell kind of funny? Former soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. Come, 
look what we've done with the flowers. Lovely, don't you think? Great job. It's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. Uh -huh. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. people on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Great! I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus, I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me. Gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no! I'm late! Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go! I'm sorry! I heard there's some going around. Sure, I'm sure. I made it. My life's been on the Hello, Cloud. Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are gonna have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Miss Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Did you know? This place is haunted. 
We all need to be prepared for this. something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. I thought we'd put those days of war and death behind us. But I won't let I really like Miss Folia's lesson. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing, I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain! I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, really like but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. Kind of scary when she's There's a lot of problems we can't fix because we're just kids. And that's where you come in. Try to stay behind me. That way I can cover your back. Let's do this. Let's go.
Was never in doubt. So... Get ready. See ya. And we're safe. Bring it. Go on! We're going in. That wasn't so bad. Going in. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Best do it right. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends! Thank you so much! Here, <coughs> this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes! Yes, Miss Folia! I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well... Then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia.
look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. war and death behind us. But Wutai won't let us move on.
Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? No you could see the sky? Of course. It was there for it's you. always a pleasure to speak with those charming little ones. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in the Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days, begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! <gasps> Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Ah. 
Get back. I can fight too, you know. Going in. Through. Right, we gotta hurry. That's it. Ha! Ha! No holding back.
good. Here's good as dead. Stay back! That's it. slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor this must be one of her calling cards i don't see anything else interesting let's head back and tell him what we found Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the Angel. A warning! If the Merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. No harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. Did you know? This place is haunted. Finally got power back. Help me out too? What do you say? Let's go to the neighborhood watch. 
Monsters out there are getting stronger and stronger. But that's no problem for you, though, right? Be careful, anyway. Time for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. to call it a day getting late huh you've been working so hard you lost track of time had to the pace sucked because they didn't know if you were worth it yet but now they do come on let's go home well 
What do you think? Do I have what it takes? I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get ah! Stay back. Can't you leave us alone? No. Too bad. Deal with that. So it's my turn? Gotta get a little hate. Enjoy the ride! Come on, then. You've got this! Let's do this! <laughs> You're going down! Soldier huh? First class. Hmm. You're done. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. Stay. Can. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. Any last words? Clap for 
pretty strong. <laughs> I've seen this type before. You don't know me. <laughs> Take the lead. Here goes. How's that payback working out for you? Oh. There. Better than expect. It's your turn. Taking over. <laughs> One more shot. Never again. I thought you didn't want to get rough. No, but this is self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> Please, just leave us alone. You know I can't do that. <clears throat> hey there, partner. I'm sure you're having the time of your life, but we're needed on standby for a job and something about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. <laughs> Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Wait a sec. So, you coming?
Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry. We got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> Don't want to overstay my welcome. For those of you watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and share button. It helps out more than you realize. Head on over to our YouTube main page. There you can find all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, or there is that thumbs down option, but I do not recommend it. We have a guy over in the UK named Corvus who likes to cut a bitch. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong, so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until our next video or podcast, I will see you. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? 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 What?